<clears throat> Howdy folks, it's become very holiday around Sasquatch Al Fresco, and long story short, I spilled a bunch of curry powder on the ground, I wiped it up with my sock, and then I put it into the wash with everything else, and everything turned yellow. I tried everything, cold water, hot water, scrubbing for hours, uh, and finally, thanks to the internet, I tried glycerin. Glycerin is a petroleum product. They make vegetable glycerin, but by and large, it's a skin protectant is how it's advertised at the store. Um, but it's plastic, essentially. So I have this huge bottle because I couldn't get the curry stains out. And so now I try, had to figure out something to do with it. So it is the season. We've got some glycerin. We've got some styrofoam that I rescued from a package. We've got two mason jars that we're going to get thrown out. So today we're going to make a project out of all recycled materials and see what happens. We're going to try and make some snow globes. I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be interesting, to say the least. Let's go get some materials. Well, this looks good, actually. <laughs> this is a pinion pine. So I'll find a piece that's dying to... This guy doesn't look too good here. Gotta do what you gotta do when you only got one hand. <laughs> this is the deer run that I, that I mention in videos. People keep saying that they don't see it, but it's so obvious right here. This isn't a human trail, and I can tell you that because there's no other footprints out here, and it snowed weeks ago. But there are some tracks. So this is a deer run. You can see it continues, and it goes in right there. get some rocks as well. This guy's kind of cute. Use him and Maybe these two. Uh, that one's about falling apart. Use these two. Maybe these three. And this guy. Well, we've got our ingredients here. Let's assemble it. I'm gonna get the mason jar, open her up. I think we'll put the rocks in first. And the cool thing about this too is that it's unique to your location. You know, you're gonna find different ingredients everywhere and it's, it might be a nice thing to send to somebody if they don't live in the same place as you. Actually, there's that kind of hole in the center that formed incidentally, so I'm gonna get this uh, pinion pine branch Stick them right in there. Maybe. Eh, he wants to be in the corner over there, so he'll be in the corner. I'm gonna drop our uh, pine cones in here. A little bit of snow for spice. And I'm gonna get this piece of styrofoam and very carefully break off a piece so that nothing blows away. And I'm gonna put this inside the jar again so that it doesn't blow away and I'm gonna start breaking it up into little tiny pieces. That's what styrofoam does best. Oh no! It's okay, I got it. I got it. We just want a couple little pieces of snow in here. Nothing, nothing bonkers. And make sure you responsibly dispose of the rest of the styrofoam, please. Now we've got a bunch of junk in there, just hanging out. Then we're gonna kinda turn this into a bit of a terrarium, if you will. 
Just making sure that all these styrofoam pieces are totally separated from each other. Because we want snowflakes. Then we're going to get the glycerin. Take off the old cap. And glug glug right on in. I'm going to fill this up. Mmm. Oh yeah. Delicious. This is what's in real snow globes too, by the way. Glycerin. Not the rest of the stuff. Okay, get that lid on there nice and tight. Then you've got... Then you've got some slow moving snow inside of this weird terrarium looking thing. The cool thing about this is that there's pretty much endless variations on what you can do. Um, and like I said earlier, it's region specific, so this would be a cool gift to send to a friend from foreign lands. I'm gonna make another one real quick. There you have it, two eco-friendly snow globes made out of recycled materials. I kind of like this one better actually without the styrofoam to be honest with you. It has more of a preserved look, less of a holiday feel, but you could keep this out year round and I think it would still look pretty neat. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that your winter season is going very well and that you're surviving just fine on all that food that you preserved. And I will see you very soon. Stay hungry and take care. And uh, real quick, before you go, you should know that I can't eat pasta with my glasses on because then it steams up and I can't see the pasta. But also, you should know that I'm in a podcast. My good friend James Malik just finished producing it, writing it, and editing it, and doing pretty much everything. Um, so go check it out. It's called Maps Won't Work Here, and it's available on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, pretty much anywhere that you get your podcasts. Once again, that's Maps Won't Work Here, and uh, thanks for watching.